G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have a twisted butterfly cake for you. First things first, you're going to roll out your gum paste or your fondant, whatever you're going to make your butterflies out of. If you don't have a butterfly cutter, you can click this annotation above or the link in the description. This will take you to a tutorial on how to make your own butterfly cutter at home out of household products. Once you've cut out all your butterflies, you can cut holes in the wings, use little heart cutters to cut out patterns. You can trim them down to size. You can get creative and customize them in any way, shape or form. So get creative with it. I used my airbrush to paint them, but you can use luster dust, petal dust. You can use a paintbrush. It's up to you. I gave them the base coat with the airbrush and then I went over it with a thin brush and some black food dye. That's just the mixture that I have of one part gel and two parts liquid. I just find that's the best consistency for painting. I was hoping to show you guys an arrangement of different butterflies, but I really liked the look of this realistic butterfly and I ended up doing two of those. I ruined the stained glass window one and I went with basic patterns for the two smaller ones. But like I said, it's up to you. You can go to Google, look up all the different butterflies there are, and then just try and mimic those patterns on their wings. So have fun with this, and let's see how creative you can be. If you make these butterflies, I would love to see some photos, which reminds me, I've been getting heaps of cake photos on Instagram and Facebook. So if you guys aren't following me, links are in the description, and just search Cakes by Chopper on pretty much every platform, and we can keep in touch, talk, swap photos, it's, it'll be fun. So hopefully I'll see you all there. To finish off the butterflies, I rolled some small balls of white fondant and then just stuck them on with water. And I followed the patterns from a Google picture of a butterfly. Now onto the cake. You're gonna cut out three squares that get smaller in size, leaving about an inch and a half of cake before the next cake starts. Just so you've got enough room for a piped on border. Now here I made the mistake of stacking them all before I had crumb coated them and it just became difficult. So if you're going to recreate this cake, I would crumb coat all of them separately and then stack them. I've never done a stacked cake like this before, so it was fun working it out. As you can see here, doing the bottom one was so much easier and then I just continued on with the other two. Give it a crumb coat and then your final layer. Now I use the airbrush just because I have it and I think it looks really pretty. You can use the tins of mist that are available. If you don't have access to that, you can just give it its final coat in the desired color you want. Um, it's it's gonna look the same just without the little glow border around it. Now I went around and just traced all the edges because I wanted to create this mist effect going in. And then it looks really messy at the moment, but once you pipe on the borders, it really comes together. As you can see here, I chose a light blue because I wanted it to really pop from that darker blue that was on the buttercream already. As you can see, I lined off the bottom with a thick piping border, and then I used a small tip to do a like beading sort of pearl drop around the edges. So just go up the sides and across the top on all of them. This makes it just look a little bit more delicate and it's, it, Gives it a pretty touch, I think. Once that's done, just make sure you've got all your edges completed. You can start to stick on your butterflies, which should be dry. For the bodies of the butterfly, I didn't show you how to make the bodies. Thought I could leave that up to you to decide whether you wanted to just paint the bodies on, to pipe the bodies on with a green frosting, or make them out of gum paste or fondant. So it is a very lenient cake. If you want to personalize this cake, I piped on Stevie's name, who is Beauty Butterfly 89 here on YouTube. Just click the annotation above to check out and subscribe to her channel. She's amazing. She did a Christine Aguilera makeup tutorial, and I requested that. So thanks, Stevie. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.